Tonight, a major development in the legal fight over opioid abuse. Attorney General Peter Nerona announcing a financial settlement with the makers of OxyContin, who've been blamed for fueling the crisis. 12 News Politics editor Ted Nisi spoke with the AG earlier today. He joins us now with details on how this money will be spent. Ted? Purdue Farmer and its owners, the Sackler family, have been blamed for pushing the use of OxyContin despite knowing its addictive potential. Today, they agreed to pay billions of dollars over their actions, including to Rhode Island. There's more money coming to Rhode Island. Uh, that's important. Attorney General Peter Nerona hailing a settlement with OxyContin maker Purdue Farmer and its controlling family, the Sacklers, to end years of litigation over the opioid crisis. It calls for them to pay about $45 million to Rhode Island. That money will be distributed over the next 18 years and has to be used for opioid treatment and recovery programs. There are certain things in the settlement agreements that lay out exactly what that means. And they're, they're all the kinds of things that Rhode Islanders would recognize as things that can saw, help to solve this problem. But there are guardrails for making sure it can't be used for anything other than opioid abatement, and we're gonna make sure that that happens. Governments nationwide have sued Purdue and the Sacklers for their role in the opioid epidemic. A broad settlement was reached last year, but nine attorneys general, including Nerona, successfully objected to the initial terms, resulting in roughly a billion dollars more being added under the new revised deal. My concern was that the amounts coming back to Rhode Island uh, based on this on the Sackler's conduct and frankly to to Americans across the country wasn't enough. A group of Sackler family members issued a statement saying in part, quote, while the families have acted lawfully in all respects, they sincerely regret that OxyContin unexpectedly became part of an opioid crisis that has brought grief and loss to far too many families and communities. Now, this comes less than two months after Nerona announced $114 million in settlements with other defendants tied to opioids. The state still has a pending suit against another manufacturer with a trial set to start later this month. Ted Nisi, 12 News.